What's up guys? Welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro Series Part 5. Yes, you've made it so far. You've made it through four different parts. And I congratulate you again on making it this far. I really hope that you're getting a lot out of this so far. I mean, if you're practicing and if you're actually, I mean, there's actually nothing much to practice here, but if you've really paid attention so far, you know quite a bit. You know how to get good workflow by making your own folder, how to make a project file, and how to properly make a sequence file uh, in your project by just dragging your video and moving it onto this new item button. You now know how to get something into your program window, which is a big deal. You should know the basics of these layers, you know, how they work, stacking them up and down like this is just layers of uh, video. Uh, a layer that's going to be on top of this bottom of video 1. Video 2 is going to be overlaid over video 1 and simple things like that. I mean, you should know quite a bit now, right? I mean, you know how to use the project thing, totally crazy awesome now, how to organize yourself here how to use the source window to, br to preview stuff, how to drag stuff from your source window. Awesome things, right? I mean, it may not seem like you know a lot so far because you still haven't really edited anything, but trust me, you are on your way, and in this video, I'm going to show you really the basics, and then later on, after this video, it's going to be how to make your videos stand out with awesome, awesome tricks, either that or better workflow or things like that, because after this video right here, you can actually start editing basic videos. So what I'm going to do is actually I have my video, my sample video dropped into my timeline and I'm going to show you how to shorten, lengthen, cut videos, move videos around, do some awesome stuff like that. All right, so let's just go ahead and dive into it. First things first, let me make these layers a little bit bigger just so it's easier for me to work with and grab and stuff, move it around. So to move a video around, okay, you can see your time up here how far into the video you're gonna get and stuff okay so this is 16 seconds into the video one minute four seconds and so on so what we can do is actually click the video and just click and drag over and now I'm moving it over so if I render right now the first what is it minute four or so I'm looking at right here these yellow numbers the first minute and two seconds are gonna be black space just a black image and then nothing's gonna go on until 103 one minute three seconds and then your video is gonna play Okay, so that's what you're doing when you're actually moving the video. This is pretty cool. You're moving it in time. Now, how can you shorten the video? Let's say that you know that the first 10 seconds of your video is complete junk. Well, go to 10 seconds, okay? And then what you can do is make sure your video is selected, whatever you want to actually shorten, make sure it's selected. You're going to go to the end of the video, and you'll see this huge red arrow pointing to the right direction. You just click and hold, and now look, now I'm shortening it and I can snap it because my snaps is on see right here snaps it's on we'll press the S key if it's off can click and hold over to the playhead the scrubber and there you go now wherever that video was it's gonna start at 10 seconds into that video I just cut off the beginning so now I'm just gonna slide that over just like that so that's pretty neat and if I actually drag this over you can see in the program where exactly I'm cutting what part of the video it looks like so if I if I'm like okay I want to start playing the ukulele okay so let's bring this all the way back and say alright I know I'm not in the shot until right about here where I start actually playing it that's why I want to start it so I start playing it around what is it like five seconds or so four seconds so I'm gonna grab this and I'm moving it over and look at look at me in the program window and right about mm, right about here if I press play, there we go. Now I'm playing the video right there. You might have seen that I didn't actually go press the play button to play the video. What I did is I pressed the space bar. So let me go ahead and press that. Let me turn the volume down so I don't annoy myself. Or actually, I'm going to turn the audio off. I'm going to turn the audio off in this little window on this side right here by clicking mute. Mute track. Okay. Click play. And now you can see that I'm playing. I'm no longer not in the shot. I skipped to the video, you know, I just cut to the video where I enter the shot. And what I actually do sometimes is I'll zoom in by holding Alt and middle scrolling. And usually when I work, what I do is I look at the audio waves, okay? And that's why I like to have my audio, my first track of my audio or whatever my primary audio is, large. Because I like to zoom in by holding Alt and, and scrolling in, okay? Move over, scroll in. And then I see that, see right here, this wavelength, this is where the first actual strum happens you can see that ching right there right there 
I'm looking at this area right here. I can see that that's where the sound begins. So usually what I'll do is I'll cut to about there and I will cut. Or I will actually shorten it in this case because I haven't showed you cut. And then I'll play it and there we go. My first drum is right away. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to stop teasing you now and I'm actually going to show you how to cut videos. You know how to shorten them by doing this. You can shorten a video like that if you need to. You know, just grab it to the end of it till it's red and you can make it all tiny or put it back to its full size if you want. But another huge way to edit is by cutting or splitting your video, in other words known as using the razor tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let me show you that tool right now. It's actually right here in the toolbar or you can press the C key. I'm going to press the shortcut C. Okay, And there we go. There's our razor tool. If you're using a different version of Premiere Pro, you might not have this nice line going across all the footage which is unfortunate for you but for me haha -ha, I have it so I'm gonna use it and what's really cool is it snaps to my playhead if I need to okay that's really nice but I'm gonna show you a faster way to cut but let me do this for you okay let's say I know right here's where I'm gonna cut and right here's where I wanna cut so I wanna delete this middle video I'm gonna go back to my arrow here the selection tool or press V okay V I'm gonna select that video and now I can shorten that, I can totally customize how I want that to be, or I can just select it and press delete, and then I can move this one over. And there we go, now it's going to cut. And you'll see any time now. There we go. See how my position just completely changed? I'm like not looking at the camera, and then boom, looking at the camera with the sexy pose. Yeah, look at that sexy pose. All right, anyways, so that's enough silliness, right? That's pretty much how you use the eraser tool, and that is cutting your clip into multiple clips. And that, you will be using that a lot you'll be cutting your clips a ton trust me especially if you like to take one take like me right now I'm recording this full tutorial in one take and it's probably right now it says that I'm nine minutes in but of course this video so far shouldn't be nine minutes because I'm cutting a bunch out all my ums and ifs and uts and sneezes and and coughs and well I'm not doing any of that but you know I delete all that stuff out just so it's higher quality content all right, so let's stop all this silliness. We don't want to go use this razor tool button every time we want to cut, right? That's that's lame. What can I do to make this a lot faster? Here's what I do. I honestly never use this razor cut button. I never use any of these buttons. What I do is I go to my point where I want my video to cut. I zoom in a ton because that's just how I work. And I'm like, all right, right before I strum right there, that's where I want to cut. Let's just say, for example, and what I do is I hit Control Shift K. Boom, look at that. Cuts right where this red line is, right on the clip that I'm viewing, that's where it cuts. And I know I can delete this part because I don't need that anymore. And now I'm playing from right here. Okay, so let me explain what I mean by it cuts all the footage. If I add a graphic for my project bin and I extend that just so you can get a better idea of what's going on. Right now it's one segment, right? If I move it, it's only one segment. Uh, let me actually zoom in here. Let me make this a little bit shorter. This is kind of annoying me. All right, so here we go. This is my footage. Okay, let me delete this too because that's getting annoying. I just want to show you a clean two videos here, okay? Two videos. If I hold Control Shift and press K, look at that. It's going to cut through this graphic layer and also through this video layer as well, okay? So it just made a clean cut all the way down the line. Now let's just say that you don't want to cut this graphic layer. Let me go back and reset that so it's all one piece again. Let's just say you don't want to cut the graphic, but you do want to cut the video file. How do you do that? Well, what you can do is see how I'm selecting each of these layers here on the side. If I set V1, everything that's selected is what's going to be cut by this next shortcut. Okay, So if I only want video 1 to be cut, I'm going to go make sure it's selected there. And I'm going to hit Control K. Boom. Now my graphic layer is still one single segment, but oops, but my video file has been cut. And that video file was only cut because it's the only one selected. So now what I can do is actually go over here and let's say I will only want video 2 to be cut. So that's the only layer that's going to be affected by control K. Boom. Now control K just cut this graphic into its own thing. That is huge. Okay. Control shift K will cut all the way through all the content no matter what's selected over here. Control K will only cut the content that is selected right here on this side on this track. All right, so now you can cut footage like a professional. You can either be all tedious and use the razor cut tool here if you want to do that. You can actually hit Control K if you want to do that, or you can actually select one a single layer and hit Control K to select only that part. So now you know how to cut in like three different ways or a ton of different ways. 
I don't even know. I can't count in my head. So there you go. Congratulations. You are now on your way to editing videos. You can even shorten these. I mean, you've learned a ton in this video just so far. And that's actually where I'm going to end this part. This was part five of my Adobe Premiere Pro series. Come back for the next part. I'm going to teach you just a few more shortcuts, really basic, basic things, but things that will help you out. Go over a few of the shortcuts we already went over. And then I'll also show you how these buttons work over here and how you can actually benefit from them. Okay, because they can actually speed up your workflow process if you use them correctly, or at least if you know how to use them. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to thumb up, comment, and subscribe.